watching. I'm sure you are at home. We'll be back after the break. I know it's a terrible cliche, but it's almost a shame for one of them to lose it. It's so nice for them both to win a title here, but it's got to be one of them. Serena Williams, 5-6, final set. tactic going in when Serena Williams is, is playing as she is? Well, I think it was the right way to be positive, and I think Simply, Maresmo is letting her emotions out. Awesome. You can see Serena Williams, everything's gone in her. And uh, you can see the nerves, she just can't play. Good drop shot, but you've always got to cover it. And Moresmo was there for the pass. Great point. Ooh, this backhand, I held my breath. But she played it the right way. And that was an easy volley to finish, but what nerve. I mean, I'm thinking ahead. I bet it's a tie break if Williams wins this. <laughs> Play by Williams. It was an awkward situation. Her slice shots are not her best ones, but she made a play on the ball. It's so important. But silence, you play, yes. Well, well done, Serena Williams. But again, it was from a behind position that she's played tight. It still remains to be seen whether she can do that when she gets ahead. And now we're into tie-break. Well, who's your money on, Joe? Well, actually, I think now Williams has got to a tie-break, she'll almost relax a bit, because anything can happen in a tie-break. Merci. And you, Chris? Merci. <laughs> Who knows? I think the match will be the winner. Again, it's two quick points. All the better for Serena Williams. Yeah, it's like you could see it that reaction there. As soon as I get in front, I miss a shot. She's almost confirming what you're saying. Merci. Oh. 
Well, I said the doctors would have a day off yesterday. Their hearts lifted the French nation of getting to the final, but they'll be overemployed tomorrow with heart failure. S'il vous plaît. Well, I thought another string had gone by the noise on the return. Just a miss hit. I do like it when I see that clenched fist. It's almost as if to say, don't worry, I'm there, I'm in control, I know what I'm doing. And again, the emotion of Maresmo really coming out into her tennis, she's using it. Three all. Merci. Super touch, super choice. Unbelievable. I thought she'd come in on the wrong one here. But obviously Serena Williams knew the slice was coming back to her. Up, hadn't she? Well, she was almost on the service line to return that second serve. You're right, Chris. She'd made her mind up. She was going to be aggressive. Mademoiselle Williams. Well, she made her mind up again then, but the serve was obviously a different quality. Yes, she was behind the baseline. I mean, it's tough to go for outright winner from that position. Wait, please. Oh. Right on the line. Six, cut, Mademoiselle Williams. Two match points and title points for Serena Williams. She's going to go for another ace. Merci. Off both serves, I should think. Merci. Serena Williams has gained her first title and has become the first American-born player to win the Open Gaz de France. Disappointment all round here for Amélie Moresmo, but I'm sure running to hug Mum, first part of the family double. Successful. Venus Williams will play Amanda Kutzer later, and Joe, you've got to feel good for her. She was up against it here. She was, and I'm actually very impressed how she's got through this match because her nerve was definitely failing, even at 4-1 up in the third. And isn't it funny when you say, you know, someone's leading, and it's so hard to win that first title, so hard to win that last point of the match, and you can see the joy. You know, she really is overwhelmed. It'll be a very special moment in her heart forevermore. Just 17 years of age. She really can't believe it have to feel for Maresmo. She faced disappointment just a month ago, losing in the final of the Australian, and now here at home in France, unable to pull off her first WTA title win. 
But she'll learn again from this. She's that sort of character, um, and I'm sure we'll see more from her. I think definitely she's learned from these experiences, and she fought back well. And, you know, both these players we're going to see more of in the future. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the three days here. Don't forget, Greg Rosetsky's flying the British flag tonight. 8 o'clock Central European time, that's 7 o'clock in the UK. David Mercer and Froome McMillan will be with you for that one. From Joe Jury and me, Chris Bradnam, it's bye for now.